Hey guys, Norman Woods. I am fresh off a lesson in Malibu, California, where it's 85 degrees, and I'm sad I gotta go back to the metro LA area, because yesterday was 100 degrees, and skating in that really sucks. But I'm just getting a quick one out of the way. This is a response to one of my constant commenters and supporters, and I appreciate all of you guys who watch all of these videos, who comment all the time. Growing on YouTube is difficult, and it's been a slow burn for me. But uh, this is in a response to the dude who said, in response to my backside big spin video, that I should do it again and cover commitment. And you know, that's a big one because I teach a lot of privates, anywhere from 10 to 15 in a week. And that is a big thing that I've noticed makes a difference in someone learning skating and something that impedes certain individuals' ability to learn quickly is commitment. Uh, no matter what you do in life, you have to be committed in order to see results. And this is so true in something like skateboarding. And it's a barrier that a lot of people rub up against in skateboarding. And I feel like it applies to everything, not just backside big spins. And for me as a skateboarding instructor, this is a difficult one because I can't teach someone how to tap into that place that allows them to commit. All that I can say is what helps me is I keep mental images inside of my head while I'm trying a trick, right? So I've watched who knows how many videos, thousands of skate videos over the years. And there are people who exemplify certain tricks to me. And so when I'm doing a nollie flip, for instance, I always go back to this one specific nollie flip that I saw Brian Herman do in America's video, This Skateboarding. It was a flat ground one, he did it in a line. I've talked about it in a video before. He did a kickflip no side on a ledge and then does this nollie flip on flat ground before front side flipping a double set. I think it was in Australia. Um, but the nollie flip in particular was perfect and when I am having trouble with a nollie flip, I have that image in my head and it helps me commit to the trick because I'm visualizing the necessary steps in my head and forcing myself to try to fit my movements. Even though Brian Herman and I skate in different stances and we're different sizes and things like that, doesn't really matter because when I'm envisioning him doing the nollie flip in my head, and trying to fit my movements into what I imagine him, his movements being, it allows me to commit to the trick because I'm not thinking of how scary the trick might be down whatever obstacle I'm trying it down. I'm simply thinking of the necessary steps that I have to complete. And landing on the board is simply one of those steps. Um, the same goes for a crooked grind. I was fortunate enough to watch Jamie Foy crooked grind a massive reel first try. Um, and ever since that day, when I'm trying to crooked grind a rail or a hubba, I just pictured Jamie Foy down this massive 18 stair rail that was like nipple height for him committing. And yeah, that allows me to commit to that crooked grind. And that way, even if I'm terrified, I'm not thinking about that. I'm simply thinking of what to do at this point, what to do at this point, and what to do at that point. And that works for me. That's how I trick myself into committing to tricks. Having mental images of how the trick has been done and of the best that I've ever seen that trick done, in my opinion, that helps me commit. But for each and every individual, there are gonna be different things that allow you to commit to a trick. And so, what I'm trying to pass on here is that you gotta find what it is that motivates you to commit to a trick. Because you can know the steps, you can physically be able to perform the motions that are necessary to land a trick, but if you don't commit, it's a waste of time, and you're putting mileage on your body, you're wrecking your board also, wrecking your shoes for no reason. So oftentimes, and, and, and this is something that comes with age, right? If I try a trick a couple times and I don't feel like I can commit to it, I'll stop because my body is already mangled and there's no need for me to put more stress on it if I'm not gonna actually do something. I can move on to a different trick or I can simply stop skating that day and come back when I'm in the bright headspace. So yeah, commitment is a very important thing to learn as a skater 
but every individual is gonna have to learn it their own way. It's something you should be focused on, especially as a beginner, because a lot of times when you're trying to learn new tricks, the main barrier is that you're not committing. So hope this helps some of you guys. The dude, thank you for watching. All you guys who watch all the videos and wait for them, thank you for watching. I'm trying to get more out and uh, yeah, enjoy skateboarding.